Those of you who have been following the series called The Big Clock Project will remember when this box came yesterday, I was a little bit concerned about what was all the rattling inside. Yeah, it was the batteries. Okay, now this will be the speaker. We'll be looking at that in a few minutes. And these look like the hands I ordered. They were the longest ones I could get. Not necessarily the shape I wanted, but they were the longest ones to go through the minute hand that's on that dial. And this will be the bob for the pendulum, which we probably are not going to use. I'm hoping to use the pendulum that was on the other clock because it's very ornate. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll just get everything hooked up here and make sure it all works. Now the movement itself is sort of like the basic movement that you have in a cheap battery operated clock, except that it has the ability to, at the top of the hour, send a little uh, signal or shorts out or something, the computer. And, and these two units are, are completely separate, except that they are in some way connected here. I've never taken one of these apart, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. But when you turn it, if you listen real carefully, you might hear it go over you know, over tw past 12 o'clock. There, did you hear that? Okay, so when I put the batteries in, uh, the computer will set itself as if the last thing it gonged was 5 a.m. Okay, so the last thing it gonged was 5 a.m. Put this on here and we'll go around and see if we can get it to do something. Okay, that's working just fine. Now the next thing that I have to concern myself with is will it swing a pendulum this big? The uh, pendulum that rod that comes with it is, as you can see, considerably shorter. And Craft uh, Time sent me this disc. I do have a larger one. In the event that the uh, movement can't handle something this long or this heavy. I know it'll handle something this long because I put this same movement in my in my mother's clock in Kelowna. Now the pendulum that I designed was just as long as this but it was somewhat lighter. So I'm going to have to uh, hang this up somehow today and see if it's going to swing this this uh, pendulum. I hope it does because it's, it's uh, very ornate as you can see. It goes really well with this big bold case. Yeah, so that's the next thing. Get this thing hung up on sort of a little test stand somehow and uh, 
See if it'll swing this pendulum. Now, this is the type of pendulum that this style of movement is designed to handle. This is the larger disc and the pendulum rod that goes with it. And we're looking at 52 grams. Here we've got 234. So it's over four times heavier. I'm just wondering if it's going to maybe, even if it swings it, it's going to be maybe harmful, you know, to the the way it's designed in here. It's it's just plastic. I'm just a little bit leery. Maybe I should not try to use this pendulum, even though it would look nicer. You know, I'd forgotten how big this clock is. My goodness, what was I thinking? Anyway. It sure looks nice hanging up on the wall though. However, I gotta get this door off. And uh, I can't reach both ends at the same time. Maybe if I turn it around and lay it on its side. Can't remember how I did it before. It's been so long. try something different I'm going to end up ruining the screws here. I do have more of these screws but I don't want to ruin them for no, no reason. Okay I got it propped up with one of those binder canvas stay things. Yeah that works better. I need three hands. Okay, now I do not want to be scratching these hands. Very gently now. Well, the gong part still works. There we go. Okay, now we'll carefully get this out, even though it's sort of broken, I want to, I don't want to make it any worse than it is. And then we'll see if the problem is what I think it is. But you know what? That's going to have to be tomorrow. I know there isn't a whole lot here that I did today, but I had other things going on at the same time. So anyway, Thanks for watching.